So without further ado, I would like to invite Prof Ken Osaka to deliver his topic today on how to design a study and publish a paper in a high quality journal. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for the introduction. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy to see many familiar faces here. Thank you for coming. So I hope I can give you some um, good kind of a, um, tips on how to publish and how to design a paper, how to design a study. Actually, uh, the goal of this uh, lecture, so uh, this is sorry, slide number one. Okay. If I just hit 119 and return, this is uh, 119 slide, so we got missing here. But actually, uh, the goal of the, this lecture is to give you some advices how to design a study. I think many people have already known, but and also how to publish a paper. But this may not be uh, important for some people, but maybe for students or someone who want to publish a paper from now, maybe it could be a, a valuable things to share with. And then next one, to make you feel that you can do it, okay? And then next one is to encourage you to start the process now. If you haven't started any uh, papers or writing uh, papers, then uh, after this lecture, I want you to feel that uh, you can do them. Okay. And then to see your papers in the near future. If I can see your papers in the near future, my lecture is successful. If not, my lecture is very bad. Okay? So I need your help. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to slide number one. Okay, so uh, basically this is two parts. Uh, first part is about one number, uh, talking about more study design. And second part is focusing on how to write a paper. So uh, this is just my CV. So this is not so important. Actually, um, I got my PhD very late. I mean, for example, after finishing my master degree, it took 12 years to get my PhD. Okay, I didn't do the PhD straight after master degree. I was working at Yokohama City University, and then I was doing my PhD. 